Welcome back to the channel and to another dose of five things you might not know. This, as always, is the 101. So this one is episode number 13, but as always, if you've missed any previous episodes, check them out in the series playlist, a link on the screen. But here we go, episode number 13 of five things you might not know about WWE 2K17. First up today, something you might not know about Money in the Bank. So as we know, the Money in the Bank match remains in the game and remains as fun as ever. However, what you might not know is that it's actually possible to edit the match to make an all-female match which can be saved, which in turn creates a Miss Money in the Bank. So all you want to do for this one is obviously get to the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, get to the 6 man ladder match and simply make the match an all-female match. Then of course, play the match or in this case we're going to skip it which as you can see results in a Sasha Banks victory, and therefore Sasha Banks is the brand new Miss Money in the Bank. From there, you can cash it in like you normally would with a male superstar, but of course this time for a female championship. Sticking with the Money in the Bank theme for theme number two today, because another thing that you might not know is that the Mr. Money in the Bank and manager announcement for Seth Rollins that was in 2K16 remains in the game for 2K17. And his opponent, accompanied by Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins. So whilst this one is obviously a little outdated at this point, it does remain in the game and could be a handy thing to note if Seth Rollins is indeed your Mr. Money in the Bank. Next up today, theme number three, we have got the backstage authority office scenes. Now as awesome as the backstage brawls are, there has been the minor complaint of the Triple H office cut scene that we saw pre-release not happening too often for many users. Now from my experience, it's not necessarily a regular thing, but given the right situation, it is still in the game and it does still happen. So what you might not know, or more specifically what you might not have seen, is the following authority cutscenes. So we have got the Triple H one that again we saw pre-release. There is also one for Stephanie McMahon. As well as the boss, Vince McMahon. Moving on to thing number four today, we have got some lesser known ways to get in the crowd. Now there is of course the most obvious ways, for example simply going over the barricade or even striking your opponent over it. However, there is also a few lesser known ways that do exist that you might not know about. These include using the OMG Barricade Spirit, which will open up the area and allow you to freely go back and forth. There is the Spinebuster variation, which is specifically for Super Heavyweights, that also does the same job. And then there is a third fun way, which is to use a move like the GTS. Now obviously this one likely wasn't intended, so it's not perfect, but still remains a pretty awesome and less alone way to send your opponent crash into the crowd. So definitely something fun there for fans of CM Punk. Last up today, theme number 5, we have got the ability to do any of your regular moves on the announcer's table. Now as we know, normally the only moves you can do on the table is the announce table specific OMG moments. But there is a glitch of sorts that will make more moves possible. So for this one, the match needs to be a multi-man match featuring at least three different superstars and basically you need to break up an announce table finish up as it's taking place. Now given the fact this one is a bit of a glitch, it can obviously be a bit glitchy and keep it in mind the method is not necessarily something you can use in regular matches. However, when playing with friends or multiple controllers, it is definitely a fun thing to try out. 
So yeah, regular moves on the announcer's table as possible via this method, so be sure to give this one a go. And with that, that brings an end to another episode, taking the series total to 65. So let me know in the comments if any of today's feature 5 things were new for you. And as always, if you've enjoyed today's episode, which hopefully you have, then a like rating would be awesome to see. Stay tuned to the channel for another new episode of this series coming very, very soon. And with that said, until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.